Freeze protection is another big thing we deal with. Water will freeze when it's stagnant in a pipe if you don't keep it warm enough. One of the great things the sprinkler committee has done is talked incessantly about do we need to protect attics? Do we need to protect garages? Do we need to protect uh, concealed spaces, uh, 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 vertical or horizontal? And what we've said is, this is a life safety system. How many people are, are dying or being critically injured from fires in a garage or an attic? Not many. Might the house burn down? Maybe. Maybe we've seen that with 13R as well. But what we've tried to do is say, if we can eliminate the freeze protection concern about frozen pipes and water damage, and we're still providing a high level of life safety, phenomenal, which is why we don't require sprinklers in attics. Fires that start in attics don't lead to loss of life. Fires that start in front vestibules, unheated entry vestibules, these are, om these are omissions that are permitted in the standard. Balcony closets and mechanical closets, fires do start there, but we don't see a loss of life from these fires. 